Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to the Aravaki campaign for Hannibal at the Gates. In the previous episode we lost a battle over here unfortunately when we were trying to take Portus Aminon and then we lost and then won back Palantir. So I'm at the end turn phase again, I'm going to hit the end turn and we'll see what mischief happens in the end turn phase. And I'd like to share with you guys an idea of mine. Once this campaign is completed, I am thinking about... Holy fuck. Um, okay, the Gallic Confederation is at war with us. Okay, that's great. That's, that's, that's good. That's manageable. <laughs> I was about to say that I was thinking of doing a legendary campaign on my channel. With one of the eastern tribes. So maybe... Oh man, stop attacking me. And I think I'm going to run away. Let them come to me with less troops maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Ah, oh, stop using your bloody agents on me, you stupid bastards. Uh, rebellion imminent? Holy fuck. How many paying attention? Galatia? Okay, let's check all these rebellions. Have rebellions popping up all over the place. Not good for health, not good for health. I need to take Portus Amran so I can get that um, thingy majiggy. You know what I mean. Oh, look at this, my movement points. I can't even get this. Pathetic. How far can I get? Oh, I could take them out. Oh, why can't I get there? It's fucking annoying. Look at this tribe. Oh my god, we can get there with these guys, though. I don't want to leave Aruna undefended, though. But maybe it would be worth it. I could take this army out. This army's not going to be any good to me. It's only one unit. But this one could cause me trouble. And Palantia is undefended and still healing up. So I think we will attack this army here. With this army. And hopefully... Oh, I might auto-resolve this. I don't want to auto-resolve. But I might need to... What does it give us? 77... 79? We're going to auto-resolve this, guys. Here we are. So, decisive victory. Starting out. Starting out. Could I hit them? Nope. I could hit them again. I'm going to hit this, this army again. And I'm going to auto-resolve again. And actually, the other armies involved in this battle... 89 for aggressive. We'll go for that. And the reason why I'm auto-resolving a couple of these battles now is... As you can see, the balance of power is heavily in my favour in most of these battles. It's wiping these remnants up off the map, and it's given me a good chance going forward to to move the campaign much quicker, at a much quicker pace. And oh, that's why public order's bad. Everything's damaged. <laughs> well, if only I'd known that a few turns ago. Idiot! Right, repair. Oh my God, look at the price. Jesus. Oh, so much to repair. One turn will be repaired though, and I'll get my garrison back because at the moment my garrison is well, not too bad, but. Huh. Anyway. <laughs> do I have any spies? I don't believe I do. It's for check. Do, 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 forces. Do I have a spy? No, I don't. Shameful, shameful. Let's go have a quick look what I do have though. Lusitani Terror. Over there. Defendants of Lugos are Elurda. Horns of NATO being built. Ah, right, that's what we can do. So we can remove that, I think. Now, will I have enough with these, with these two armies to take Portus Amran? I think I probably would, so I would be wise to move a second army now this way. I could probably do that on Force March. I'm going to see how far I can get on Force March. Now that we got war with the Gallic Confederation, it's probably a good idea to get here as quickly as possible. So this army's going to move forward like so. Alerta's quite happy with me, actually. Oh, Emporia, I haven't even converted Emporia. My god, i got to spend more time doing this stuff. <laughs> My campaign management is kind of crap at the moment. That's why I like it in the early game when you've only got like one or two towns or cities. It's much easier to manage when you get loads like this. It's like, ah, what do I do next? Right, Dumati is happy. It's only Aruna, which is minus 28. That's that's Birgit, Bird Gala and Aruna. So I need to get Bird Gala as well. And then Palantia. This is going to rebel. So I'm going to have two rebellions on our, our hands shortly. But we'll see what we can do. 
Now this army can't attack, you stupid, stupid bastards, why can't you attack? This army can't either. I hate this, it's in a few, last few turns they've all been in force march and I can barely reach them, it's irritating. But I'm going to end turn again. Once I consolidate my lands here, I will focus a little bit on the management of my towns, upgrade stuff, make sure public order is fine, get that bread and games going, give all the plebs their bread, give wine to all the nice lords of the cities. Whoa, they're offering me more money now. Holy shit. They know the days are numbered. If I take that away. Ah, look at this. Joint Confederation plus peace is high. Can I get some money out of these guys as well? Give me 1,500. Okay, this is how I bullshit the AI. Go for 2,000. It's low. Right, so they got, they're not going to give me that much. Kind of stupid when you think about it. 150 is moderate. I want to make sure that I get this done though. So I'll go for 1,000. That should be okay. Yes! Get in there! Thank you! Oh fuck, rebellion! <laughs> Route 2 base. Oh, that's all the way down here! Shit! Shit, 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 shit! I got, lo I got three rebellions! Rebellion! Right, where's these guys? These guys are here. They have four units in Route Abyss. Route Abyss, I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, I can't even recruit a general. Can I recruit a general? No, I can't. Oh dear. Oh dear, me. I have eight out of eight as well. How many? Oh, I could take them out if I had the army there. Oh, it's so bad. So many. Here. That's the one rebellion. And ah, we have one over here. Ashtarika. Oh, I could take them out easy. Goalie's armies here. They all their armies become mine as well. So this is where I gotta work things out. Where did they say the third rebellion was? Was it over here or something? Ah, oh, over here, of course. All right. Well, they're the nearest, so we'll take them out first. And this army can actually get there. So, Rebellion! Incoming for battle, the horns of NATO. Ah, oh, you bastards, you running away. Running away. I can get there, I can get there. Holy shit, I'm gonna... Do I wanna fight this? I don't need to fight this, look at the odds. Ah, oh, man, this is 93%. I should have like 99%. Four units against two armies. Boom! Into the abdomen area and you're dead. Release the slaves. One rebellion dealt with swiftly. Ah, oh, minus ten. We have to get in that town. <laughs> what way? Can I get into a town with any of these armies? Don't think. Oh, this one can. Right, this one can go into a runa for now. Replenish again. Get that uh, public order. Oh, that's a bit better. And we're actually going to remove these mercenaries now because we don't need them. I'm going to keep this one because they're quite beastly and I'm going to need them in future battles. Second rebellion is over here. So this army now is going to be heading towards Costa Rica. Full stack army, and we'll deal with the rebellion there. Once they're gone, with we've got the one in the south to deal with. Now we have a ship here, which will be no use to me whatsoever. So I'm going to oh, if I if I click on the ship and move him, how much public order? If I disembark it. We don't need these, do we? Nah. Just uh, eating up the money when there's nobody to fight out here. Go to Gala. Right, we need to upgrade these, so we need to work on that soon. Now, this army is in Force March, which is now going to be useful. I could actually... I could attack from here now that I have Bird Gala as well, which would be the sensible thing to do. I think what we will do... We will go into the ocean. And we're going to go to Burdigala that way. We're then going to attack from Burdigala at Tolosa. We have a couple of Iberian Scorpions, which my good friends um, recruited for us. Do I want mercenary Celtic Light Horse? Ah, we'll keep them for now. Why not? And can I get any more edicts? Doesn't look like it, does it? Two out of two is a shame. Ah, it's a shame. I wish I had more, more edicts going. I think we're doing okay now. It's just going to check these armies. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, do I have any like armies I don't need? I think I got one over here. This one maybe. Oh, I don't want to really lose these units. I, I I got an idea, which is quite controversial, but we like controversy, don't we, guys? So we're going to take these guys, and we are going to move them to this army, like so. Oops. 
Boom. You are now going to be disbanded, my friend. Goodbye. You're gone. These guys are in force march. Do they need to be in force march? Oh, they are on the move anyway. Then we have a bigger army as well, so yeah, I think we can probably risk it in force march. What's our situation if we just do a normal stance? And not quick enough. We're going to go in force march to Emporii. So, what that means is, guys, I will have two armies. This one here, the Horns of NATO, and this one, the Reach of Candamius. Called Candamius? Damus? I don't know. Anyway, those two are going to attack up here and go for Nemmalsus. And then the army in the ocean here, and probably the one in Aruna once, or this one actually, the Horns of NATO, they're going to go up north to Burdigala. So I have two from here and two from here. We should outnumber them pretty easily. Our funds are not quite perfect, but they are better than what they were a few moments ago when I disbanded all those units. And what I'm going to do is, I think I can most most likely raise, yes I can, a free general. Now this is going to be risky, but we're going to attack because, as expected, I have got some units available to me. Now this is going to be quite awkward. They do have tribesmen, Numidian cavalry, they outnumber me with cav, and of course a general unit. But I shall see you all on the battle map. Hello and welcome back to the battle map. My reinforcements are coming from around here. My general's here waiting. He's not doing a speech. Oh, it is. Nope, no speech, just a shame. I was looking forward to a speech. Skirmishers! Right, we're going to get the skirmishers and my Iberian tribesmen forward. Now, what do they have? Let's see. They have a general who is a Numidian noble infantry. They're going to be quite hard to deal with. They have two units of Numidian cav. Now, these are both missile cav. My general could probably charge one of them. And of course we have tribesmen, now the, and they are also uh, missiles, so lots of missile stuff to deal with. I am fairly confident with this battle, but to, to begin with, let's bring the general forward. We've got war cry, we've got second wind, wedge and frenzy charge, so I have half a chance at least. Looking around the battlefield, we've got a nice hill, I could take my general up this hill I think. Let's go up the hill instead wait up there while I get everything into position. Four versus four. Wish I had better units, mind. <laughs> Maybe if I had like one unit of Scutari spearmen or something that might that might help me in this battle, but alas it was not to be. Move it, General. I'm gonna fast forward this as well because it's kinda of boring. Let's go for a little bit of unit cam action. Oh yes, look at those horses. Ooh, it's a nice little hat that horse has. Where are they going? I can't see them. Oh, they're over there. I like the unit cam, it's quite cool. And of course, you can move your general manually like this as well. Boom, boom, boom. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Set them up on the hill ready. I like using cavalry in this game. It's just the. There's probably better people out there that can do cavalry charges than me. I tend to leave them in too long. But I like manoeuvring them. Alright, their new Midian Cav are thinking of doing something. They don't know what they're doing at the moment. I don't know what they're doing either. I think they've spazzed out slightly. I'm going to use this opportunity to move everything forward yet again. Just going to keep it all tight like that. Just waiting for the right opportunity to use my my Cav. Let's move them, I think, maybe to, to here. I'm going to find out what they what they're gonna do. Noble cavalry. What's the range of these? 80. I gotta get quite close unfortunately. I may be better actually hanging back with the javelin men and actually sending my tribesmen in front of them. So I think I'll probably do that. It's a shame I gotta attack them though. I wish they wish they would have to attack me. Let's get them all walking. There's no point running. Ah right. So they're moving their cavalry deal with my general this could be good let's entice them forward then in that case let's bring my general 
forward slightly. Keep them fixated on him. Don't think I'm in range of their main range. Their bows. Don't think I am. Nope. Not in range, that's okay. Uh, let's go to the right. On, on a straight up charge, I could deal with them, but they're too close to the, the general and the tribesmen. I'm hoping to try and t entice them, bring them away. Once the calves dealt with, I can win this battle. Providing I don't lose too many units. I'm waiting to see if I can get in range of their bows or not. Or are they, uh. Well, they're javelin men, aren't they? By the looks of things. Ah, here we go, they come in to the right. Riders forward! Riders forward. Right, I'm gonna do a feign attack. Let's feign attack, see what we can do. Are they coming forward? Are they firing? Low threat, low threat. Keep an eye on that. Bring all this forward. Need to micromanage this. It's important. I could actually come this way. If I come this way, the cavalry will be facing the wrong way. That's a good idea. As expected. Maybe, maybe not. Are they reforming? Fuck it, let's go for a charge. <laughs> they're actually moving away. I don't know what they're doing, do they? Oh, I don't Got an idea. This is risky, guys. I have an idea, though. This is... Noble cavalry. Noble cavalry. I don't know where they go with the cavalry, but I don't mind at the moment. Shit. Keep going for the general. As expected, the, the general's bullshit to me. Oh, I hate doing this. The general's so near as well. Stay off that fucking general. Shit! Move, 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 move. Fuck, 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 fuck. Get out the way, you bastards. Well done, well done, well done. That's good. Holy shit, that was that was insane. <laughs> Didn't only lost two, not too bad. Frenzy charge. Not even gonna use the frenzy ability yet, it's no point. Let's get in there. My javelins. I still deal with them. Boom! Hurry up and kill them all, come on. Holy shit. Knocked over my drink nearly. Getting too excited now. We're whittling down the, the general, that's good. I don't know why the AI has moved the cavalry. I know that it makes sense deploying your cavalry on the high ground like I did at the start of the battle, but but by me forfeiting the high ground, they manoeuvred up there and it's just given me an opportunity to, to pester the general. Just didn't make sense. And I can now bring my general nearby. He's still quite fresh. All my units are pretty fresh, to be, apart from the skirmishers, they're on kind of medium. And we're whittling the enemy down now. Look at this. Right in the back as well. This is insane. And I can get anti-cavalry tactics going. Bring the skirmishers back. Let's get them behind the lines quickly. Come on. Noble cavalry. I can, f I can play defensive now. I know that I have to win this battle, so I have to beat them, but they're just bullshitting me a, a bit, and it's, it's kind of unsettling. <laughs> right, let's get nice thick walls, like so. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit, because it's just walking my troops around the field now. Yeah, I think they would be pretty... Ideal. I gotta be careful. They could goad me into a a downhill charge. It would make sense for them to do that now. I like the fact they've taken my earlier position though. It's quite it's quite funny. <laughs> All at the cost of a unit of slingers. 
I have to be careful though, I, I don't really want to be too close, so I might just halt here. Looks like they may come down the hill. Let's fall back a bit maybe. Yeah, let's fall back just in case. Bring the tribesmen nearer. Oh, if I had missiles. Well, I do have missiles, I have my own slingers, but you know what I mean. If I had like slingers which could ha which had better range. If I had something with better range, I, I'd feel a bit more confident about this and this rebellion hopefully hopefully I don't be in range of their slingers as well their, their Numidian cav I believe do have some form of of missiles they are protecting the general which is sensible but you know <laughs> let's get the infantry like so I'm gonna do what I did earlier and actually flank around with the cav get them to face this way hit them with a quick Quick one, two with the javelins. Are they going to reform? Let's go here. I want to get them to chase me. I don't know why they're not chasing me. This is weird. This is patch 12, very hard difficulty. For those of you wondering. And the AI isn't really doing anything. And also, I'm not using any mods as well, so this is the base game. I will be using mods in my next campaign. They'll probably be using a radius mod or maybe a divide and conquer mod. Haven't quite decided yet. Uh, what are they doing? I don't know what they're doing. What formation is this? They got they got some horses facing this way and some facing that way. It's quite funny. All right, let's be cheeky and go close. Skirmishes. They're not attacking me. I, d I don't know why. They got New Median Cav and they missile Cav. You can by the you can tell by the banner they missile Cav. Gate Tuli, what are you doing? Bad man. I like how they just camp in there. Up, 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 up. Pull back. Pull back. Quick reload. Attack. Charge. Charge. Oh, it's a pill. I don't want to charge today, do I? Don't want to lose this. This is good. I'm going to chase the cavalry off. With, their, all, with these three units here. While my slingers can continue to pepper the general. War cry, that one. Frenzied fucking charge, bitches! Come on, are we whittling the enemy down again? The general. This is good. This is quite good. Lock into the new Midian cav, maybe. What are you fucking doing? Charge, you bastards! I fucking hate missile cav, bitches. Missile troops are doing well. Noble cavalry. Here we go, job done. Reform cav. Nope, don't want to do that. Back. Warriors eager for blood. Let's get this, this unit to charge around there. Holy shit, don't run. You silly busy billies. How many men they got left? 75, got 44. It's not looking good. Pull back. Pull. Pull, pull, pull back. Just realised they got mis uh, missile troops and I just throw the unit away for no reason then. That's a shame. Battle's not over yet. Long way to go. They've got 70 men remaining. So I've, I've taken out half of their unit and they haven't got one kill on me yet. The noble infantry, which is good. Battle ready and eager for blood. Fast forward this bullshit. Oh shit, what are they doing? Shit, they're attacking. Use this opportunity to charge their general. While we attempt to go for the Numidian calf for, <laughs> for skirmishers. Oh, that's going to be horrible for me. If we can take a few of them out, I'd be happy though. You have my spear and my sword and my axe. I'll be war crying the general any moment now. Oh, 
Let's just keep the cavalry away for as quickly. Oh, I've just remembered there's noble infantry. I don't want to send my general in there. Send my general around instead. Shit, this is a crap, crap, scrappy battle. It's too scrappy for me, this is. Not a very effective charge either. Tribesmen. Let's get a second wind going. 39 against 53, 51, 50. Oh, they're losing lots of men now. The general's losing out as well. Just about. He's probably going to have the, bet the upper hand against my my units. Ah, and we are routing the cavalry. This is good. Chase off the cavalry. And then we can come back around and charge their general and win the battle. Oh, maybe not. They're still back in it. They're still in it. And they're routing again. Leave the cav. Go for the general, I think. Nope, we're going to go for the cav. They come back. And we've got a downhill charge. This is much, much more uh, beneficial to me. Just keep the general there for now. I can take out Numidian Cav. Boom, 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 boom. Bribe the men. Right, we can just stay there a bit longer this time. To deal with the Numidian Cav. Once they break, they break. And I can just go for a frenzy charge into the back of the general. Which I can do now. Let's fast forward just slightly. There we go, and now we go for an epic charge. Epic charge! War cry, frenzy charge, boom! Oh yes, into the back you go. Kill them all! Fucking kill them all, there we go, excellent. Fucking excellent, continue the battle, let's just fast forward this, let them kill the general for, for certain. Boom, 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 boom. There we go, close victory. Fuck, that was harder than than I anticipated. The general, 252 kills, that's pretty good. Lost, you know, 45. A bit careless with that one unit of, of infantry. But, that worked out pretty well in the end. Boom, end of rebellion, number three. All three rebellions dealt with in this episode. And we will release the captives. I have a new general now, who can now occupy this town in the next turn and he can have some cunning I think and there we go so I think I can most probably end this episode I hope you've all enjoyed this episode I've been Dragonheart until next time goodbye